right, welcome everybody. This is Changing of the Hip Hop Guards podcast. I'm the journalist Sincere. That's my partner, Uncle E. And tonight we have the special guest, Five Foot of the legendary Black Moon. Black Moon, salute. It's Worldwide the salute. 30th anniversary of End of the Five Stage inch. coming Damn. up. Uh, we're going to go back and talk some memories, bring it up yes. to what you guys uh, have going on for 2023. But Kind of fast forward uh, up to uh, getting that deal. Did you guys shop a demo at all before you? We never got shopped the demo? a demo. That's you know we prep a demo. You know we had demo <clears throat> preparation, but actually when we went into nervous, me and Buck we performed live action on the same thing you see on the stage, the same thing that Chuck Chill Out scene that brought us to nervous is what Michael White seen when we went to get the deal. Okay. Did you guys, um, was other labels interested before you went to Nervous? Um, but prior to that, I don't believe we shopped to any other labels prior to Nervous. We was in a mix of learning the game. So um, I know E was doing, trying to get over to Wild Pitch because we know Pamandon was over there, right? Mm -hmm. You know what okay. I'm saying? Um, Buck was working for a label that was connected to, um, I want to say, uh, I forgot the name of the label, but I know it surrounded uh, the, the um, Hank Shockley and them. Hmm. You know so, was so, it Soul? Was it Soul Records? Yeah, it was Soul Records to be exact. Yeah, so that's how he got his foot wet into a you know, knowing how to, you know, knowing, learning how the game flows. You know what I'm right. saying? To get us, you know, help us get into position, you know. Right. Uh, Go ahead, e. yeah. Yeah, No, I just wanted to take it back a little bit. So you mentioned Buckshot was over there. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you had you and Evil D met first. We was in high school. We went, I met E like early 89. I, mean, I want to say earlier than that. I want to say like, I would put it to you like this. I met E in ninth grade, my okay. first year in Bushwick High School. E was already there. And mm -hmm. um, prior to us making a group called Black Moon, he was already affiliated with a group called Unique Image, which okay. is my, you know, which is my man Oliver, and, and um, oh, I forgot son's name right now. But it was it was them three already there. Ali, matter of fact, his name was Ali. Okay. Um, they already had Unique Image. I came in as a like, I was a dancer. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was a dancer for them. So that was my thing at the time. I still was writing. But I formulated dance. It was became became my niche to make me work and get me notoriety and and things of that nature. Because show business was something that was not just. It was a childhood dream of mine. Show business. Mm. Now, when you saying dancers back at the time, you were like like um, were you break dancing too, or was it more like the hip hop dances, like the uh, trons and those type of guys? We I was. I incorporated all of that. Okay. I incorporate the break dancing to the street dancing to the house music. So I was in all the clubs at that time. And I was around a lot of the conglomerate dancers at that time. It's like you had IBM, you had the Mop Top crew, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. They was putting in work. You know what I'm saying? They was putting in serious work. They was in all the videos. They was in the right. Layla Hathaway videos, the uh 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 Mariah Carey videos, uh, you know, uh uh um special ed videos, things of that nature, right? So, you know, that's 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 who, you know, I kind of mimic, we can kind of mimic our energy behind them. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha, gotcha, cool, cool, cool. So then fast forward, you guys end up meeting Buckshot and then that's how that whole- Well, I met went. Buck in Brownsville. Buck mm -hmm. came after me and he was already in relations already. Okay. So um, I met I met Buck in Brownsville at this, at this 430 Center, 430 Saratoga Avenue in Eastern Parkway that used to be there. But they they covered it with a totally new building that's gotcha. totally different over there now. But um, I met him in 430 Center. This was like you know mid 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 89, 90, I want to say. Now, what made both of you guys click? <clears throat> well, I didn't have a dance partner at that time. You had Scoob and Scrab, you had Sean and Kenny. So it was a lot of double up, it was a lot of group activity, and I was just by myself. So pretty much us, you know, me having a dance partner, I think in my mind would have add more spice to the situation and right, right. some pretty was pretty much good at that time you know what i'm saying so us coming together and doing what we do best is get busy 
it worked out for the best, you know what I'm saying, on hindsight, you know. Is, is there footage out there of you guys dancing? They might have it, you know. They might yeah. have clips of us in the E's backyard getting busy on the, you know, <laughs> somewhere. Somebody got it. I wish somebody had it. I would, I love, I would, love, I was doing. I would love to see how I was doing back then. <laughs> right, right, right. That's dope, man. That's dope, dope. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't uh, Finster Bundy part of the group early on? No, Finster was. Finster was. Okay. Finster was uh Finster was with us in high school, you know what I'm saying? He came after the unique image had broke up. He came in after that. So, mm. you know, us being together around the way, being inspired by the culture of hip hop, um, made us that that created the bond that we had at that time, you know what I'm saying? Um, all the excitement from from the dope music and the dope records and being inspired by those like, you know, rest in peace, Guru, Gangstar, uh, Rakim, um, Cool G Rap, uh, Big Daddy Kane, Karis One. Um, I've been inspired by a lot of artists that came out prior to that, you know, not just from New York, from Philly, from down south. So just being a part, just wanting to be a part of the culture is something that I always wanted to since B Street, mm. since um, Break In, you know, um, since. Um, Crush groove, you know what I'm saying? Uh seeing those individuals do what they do, that definitely inspired me to do what I do. You know, for the as far as being part of Black Moon and being a part of the culture. Now Black Moon wasn't the original name of the group at first, was it? Yes, it was. Okay. Okay. But we what? over time we had to build it. We had to we built it up. It was Brothers Liberty Acting Combined and Kicking Music Out on Nations. That was something that Buck added to the name. Okay. at the time but um black moon was something that mr war had a name that he was going to use and being that he didn't use it we decided to take it and put some use to it you know gotcha put some life into it you know what kind of early discussions did you have as far as the direction you guys wanted to go uh early on we still was trying to figure that out. You know, the main question is what we really wanted to do at the end of the day, what direction did we want it to ultimately take it to? So um, I think the hunger, the passion and the love, which, you know, helped us. Plus, most importantly, I put God in this. I put the most high in this because without the most high being involved, I don't think we would have been able to do anything that we was able to do to get us up to become a part of a culture, a big one at that, especially at that time, you know what I mean? Right. Can, can, can you talk a little bit about the process of, you know, creating the album? Um, what were some of the things that you guys might've been going through during the creation of the album? Meaning I'm sure you <laughs> I mean, not everything, everything, but um, solidifying the right music, being able to the writing process of creating the right lyrics to go those that that whole process was the enter the stage was an experience let me put it to you like that we learned a lot from that project we learned i learned a lot from that project oh. so what about like you know as far as because i know you guys recorded a lot of that at dnd correct we we recorded the whole well we the recorded whole, majority um, at dnd we started at calliope though okay we started in is we started at Calliope. I think we did um who got the props there and act like you want it. Okay. Now by by the time you guys did who got the props, which was I believe the first single. Yes. You guys started shopping that around or putting that out before the album was complete? We actually didn't have that song until after oh, we really? got the deal. Yes. Okay, okay. I told you we didn't have no demo. So right, I right, think right. we believe we performed. A, a, a version of who got the props but before was who got the props and i believe we had a song okay. called fuck it up so okay the, the energy is what got us on it wasn't yeah, even yeah. no lyrics i don't think it was no lyrics i think it was just basically the energy that we possessed at that time okay that got us on i remember seeing you guys man i want to say it was video music but it was somewhere you guys came out performing for the very first time at least that we saw and I remember Chill, Chill Out was like DJ, and I think it was Video Music Box. You guys had the backpacks out, and you mm -hmm. came out with that energy, and you were like pushing each other around and performing. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you, was that the type of energy you guys 
performed at the Lakers. That was the energy I always possessed. That was cool. even as younger. Like I've been doing talent shows forever. You know what I'm saying? Like this, I was pursuing this for a very long time before I actually met E. You know what okay. I mean? Um, me seeing what E was able to do and being around him through Unique Image really enforced me to stick with him and say, we're going to make something happen. Even though that ball dropped, we're going to make something else happen. Because okay. I had left for a minute. I had went to Virginia for a little while. And um, I, and things wasn't working out for me down there the way I expected it to. So I eventually came back to New York. And okay. prior to me coming back to New York, I called E. And we had a, you know, we had a conversation on the phone. He was like, he was about to not do music no more at that time. I was like, you bugging right now. You're too ill, you're too dope to not even drop the ball. I'll be home in the, in the next week or so. We gonna figure something out when I get to the bricks. He wasn't calling it the bricks at that time, but yeah, when I, when I get back to, to Brooklyn, um, we gonna figure something out. We gonna make something happen. That was just the determination that I possessed at that time, how to make something happen. Right. I remember uh, who got the props. I'm a kid from Indiana, right? So when that dropped uh, the fall of 1992, just that intro, I immediately got goosebumps. Uh, so take us back after that hit, like he said, video music box for him. It was Rap City and uh, UMTV Rest for me. What was that reaction like when who got the props hit the streets? It was, uh, it was speechless. I was speechless. Um, it was exciting. And, and surprising, you know what I'm saying? We had we had we we had to compete at that time. We had a lot of conglomerate artists that was out at that time. You know what I'm saying? I think I believe we came right after Das Das Effects just came out. Mm -hmm. So you know you had all that Das Effects, EPMD, uh, you know KRS One, Ra. You know we had the, the elite individuals, and it was like it was it was it was definitely a a a, 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 a happy and gracious moment for, for people to even gravitate toward the song the way they did. That was very much surprisingly done. That's why I always give praise to the most high for that. Absolutely. Now you talked a little bit about going from Calliope to D and D. Uh, what was those re recording sessions like? Long all night, <laughs> <laughs> long all night, get it right. <laughs> We're not leaving till we get it right. So, you know, just being in the studio was like a blessing. Like that was a dream come true. You know, we don't watch so many movies and watch so many things about other artists being in the studio, putting in work. Finally, we get a chance to be in the studio, a real one to create some real, uh, a, a nice piece of work was, was, was a definitely a great experience. Right. I miss the times where artists could drop a single and create buzz. You guys did that. You had who got the props, and then you came with how many MCs. At this point, what kind of momentum are you seeing before the album dropped? We got another one in. <laughs> we had another one in. Once we drop how many MCs, that 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 really changed the direction of from who got the props to show a different level of not only production but also a different level of MCing. Right. Uh, you guys went on to drop I Got You Open remix as well right. as Buck em Down remix. Right. Uh, overall, what are your best memories of creating this project? Um, every, I mean, the most memorable is just actually being in the studio, smoking, on beats, uh, writing, you know, all of that right there is just the whole, you know, the whole package of that experience is, is is a whole one big memory for me. Everything that we experienced in putting that album together. Repeat that. Can you talk a little bit about the sessions though, in D and D? Like I'm sure there were so many different artists that were coming through. How did it feel? It wasn't this a lot of artists. We had a few artists. Like you had Tech and Still there. Right. Um, when we did the song with Havoc and Prodigy, they was in the studio. So the atmosphere was, ex you know. To me, the atmosphere was very exciting at that moment. You know what I'm saying? I had my people's there, so I had his people's there. And and to, for us to lay it down and then hear the playback, it, you know, to me, that was all exciting to me. Okay. So I was just so, like thinking that you would see, like, you know, at any given time, a KRS-One or, you know. That wasn't after the factor. That was after, way after the factor. Okay, okay. That was after the factor. Gotcha, gotcha. 
So even uh, though we were label mates with KRS One, he was part of Nervous for a minute too. We had Funk Master Flex was there. You know, um, I could remember when Premier came up to the label to come get our single. That was one of the most memorable, exciting moments for me. Being a fan of Gangstar, being a fan of Kuro and him and Premier, um, to see him come and get our single to play it, that was very exciting to me. Right, right, right. Now, weren't you guys the first ones, the first hip hop group on Nervous? Yes. Because they, they, if I'm not mistaken, were like more into. Um, it was all house like house music. music and st- right, yeah, right, it right. was house music. Yeah. So, what, what did you guys feel like they knew what to do with you, like how to how to market you guys or promote? You I guys? don't think I no. I don't think they didn't know how to, and, and and a lot of things we like I said we learned on the whim. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. So going with the flow sometimes, if it ain't broke, you got to go with the flow to see and understand how it would go. You know what I'm saying? Right. For, for the most part, I believe that that's why I say all praise is due to the most high. Like he had his hand on us mm-hmm. to get us in a position that solidified us and allowed us to enable us to be a part of the culture right now. You know, because yeah. a lot of stuff was wings and hands on. We was learning everything as we go down to creating the music. Really? Down to be in the big studio, you know, those all of that was hands on. We learned as we went, as, as we was going, and it was just, a, it was just fortunately that everything was going in the right direction for us. Man, what you you must, I mean, there must be times that you sit back and and think about what you're just saying and be like, wow, out of all of that, we created something that's a stamp, a classic. Something that is always talked about within the culture, um, that must feel awesome. It does feel awesome, and, and and from that perspective, it definitely feels great. Um, it allowed us to be a part of fifty years of greatness. Right. Um, we've got thirty years of greatness in. Um, I still feel me personally today that we could have def- definitely gave y'all way more than what we gave y'all. That's just from my perspective. You know what I'm saying? And um, okay, okay. the fact that we we are able, we, we you know, we are mentioned with the great elites, you know, Black Moon don't have a platinum plaque on the wall or gold plaque, but we have been able to bungee and launch along those who have multiple mm-hmm. statuses and, and still get the respect. I'm, I'm, that, I'm bowed down to that. You know, I'm humbled by that. Right, right. You know, very humbled by that because we don't have to be, you know what I'm saying? We didn't have to be become a lot of people didn't make it, but we happen to do. We happen to make it. You know what I'm saying? And I, I I take that with pride and I take that with joy. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the. If anything, I, that's I'm part of something. If I was to leave tomorrow, I was a part of something great on the planet Earth, and they'd be talking about that for a while. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Um, without you know getting too deep into it or anything, you know, you just said you wish you could have gave us more. What, in your opinion, kind of prevented that from happening, in your opinion, you know, without getting too... The politics, politics ego. business. Okay. Politics and business and ego. Okay. No. Gotcha. I think that if those those, those two things, it was fair ball around, all around the board, I think we would definitely been able to give you more. Gotcha. From my perspective, you know, what I'm saying? right, 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 right. I don't think that y'all heard me enough. I don't think you know it right. was effective enough. You know what I'm saying? Before the split and everybody went solo and solo endeavors, we didn't give the world a chance to even give them a full black moon. You know, a a a, a, a full black moon experience. We lucked up with the first project, far as I'm concerned. We mm-hmm. lucked up with that. God, you got. Now, was did did you ever think about sort of? I guess when you guys were you know like the split and everything, did you ever think about doing something a little bit more on this personal, like solo wise? Or I don't, you know, I was exploring those options. I have I had a couple of groups I was working with, a couple of individuals I was working with over the years, but that that didn't work in the favor of going in that direction. Okay, but overall, if we a group, I believe that. Solar endeavor shouldn't be the priority of what people should be expecting. They're expecting the group to get busy and put in work. Same right, thing right. as you know, same thing as the locks, same thing as Mob D, same thing as MOP. You understand what I'm saying? 
but that 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 didn't go that direction. Understood. Mm-hmm. Got you. Got you. Right. Like I said, the album turns thirty this year. Does it seem like it's been thirty years since you made that classic? Not really. <laughs> it does and it doesn't. You know what I'm saying? Um, looking at the reality of it, we know how long it's been. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that you know the fans are still riding with us. Um, the brand is Black Moon, you know, it doesn't really feel like it's been 30, you know, and that's why I guess I still feel the energy to, we could deliver more and still have more to deliver. Right. Do you guys have uh, any talks about what you're going to do with this no. uh, 30th anniversary no. tour? Anything? No not talks right yet? now. No, 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 not okay. at all. Okay. Uh, moving toward in the future, what can we expect from Black Moon, what can we expect from Five Foot uh, 2023? I can't speak on I can't speak on Black Moon, but I will speak on me. You know, I got I got a prequel project coming with the album coming of my own, my solo, and I don't like to say solo because I am Black Moon. There's no separation in that. Everybody has a part of it. I am Black Moon. You know what I'm saying? You know, right. um, and that's what I want to display to the people. You know what I'm saying? To to fill in the void and the inconsistencies that we had during this our career. You know what I'm saying? As a right. group. You know what I mean? I want to fill in that void. I want to fill in that energy. And I have much more energy and much more things to deliver to the table than just music. So um, you know, I'm just gonna set it off with the music for now, but that it's other qualities and other skills and talents that I possess, that I always possess, that I never got a chance to display. And that's what we're doing for the 2023. We're getting prepped and getting ready for the real action. Nice, nice. Is there any, uh, can we expect any features as far as from the boot camp clip at all? Or is this just strictly five foot? I'm going to leave that surprisingly to you. Okay, I okay. Gonna, <laughs> I ain't going to add no, no okay. spice, no spice. Um, all right, all right. <laughs> I, 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 it's, it's part of, it's, it's in my plan. I'm not going to say it's not in my plan. But um, I'm gonna leave this as a surprise for this project because I don't think, I don't, I don't know. I can't say no, not. But I, I don't think they're expecting me to do what I'm about to do, or yeah, even do yeah. a solo project. If those are, if those that are looking for a five foot solo project, let's get it in. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it on, like Smith and Messen would say. Right, 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 right. right. Let's well, get we, it we on. listen, man. We, we, we. You know, we obviously love your music. And love Thank what you guys you. have done. So Thank you. you know, we will be expecting <laughs> something Thank coming you. from five foot, man. Thank you. Thank you. Cause I don't think that people really, you know, a lot of people think I might be in the background or on the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm right here. Yeah. I've been, you know, even though I I I I was in jail for a minute. I came home 07. Okay. Right. But I've been right here. Okay. We've been right, right in the live action for the last 15 years. The only project we dropped was the last project we put out. So, you know, that all boils down to those that think they're in charge or want to be in charge. We could be doing way more than what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to I'm ready to tour. Anybody's ready to get busy, y'all know hit my line. I'm here. It's live action. No playing no games this year, you know? Good, good, good. Let them know where they can keep up with you on social media. Y'all come to the grand five black moon fever five and um you could come to the black moon page as well on the grand okay like i said we uh salute you we thank you for the you. uh 30 years uh yes. keep up with five foot on instagram and be on yes. the lookout for our projects in the future yes peace right. thank y'all for having me man happy new year's Big love for me. Big love to y'all. Big love to everybody around the world. It's a lot of crazy things going on around the world. Keep yourself safe. Keep yourself protected. Stay away from negative energy or negative influential anything. And keep yourself, you know, contained and eating right and being healthy. Because that's what I'm about. Being healthy and eating right. That's right. That's right. That's right, man. It's been a pleasure, man. 